That's right guys, it's Tackle Club box time. I am here with the famous, the infamous, the brilliant Murray Crab Fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Cronky from The Fisherman's Journey. Go and check him out if you haven't already. We are on an epic uh, <clears throat> mangrove toga mundi trip. Where we're trying to get Mangrove Jack, Saratoga and Barramundi Plus some Sooty Grunter Some Thredger and Salmon and um, Like all the species of fish in Australia We've got like three days left So <laughs> See how we go We've got some Tackle Club boxes and we need to show you what's in them So that we can Use them tomorrow Because if we don't show you now By the end of tomorrow they'll probably be empty I'm going to start with the Bass and Yellows box Quick unboxing video um, I won't be doing the Bass and Yellows challenge today because there's no Bass and Yellows here. Water just the other side of the car, Barramundi in it, potentially Mangrove Jack in it as well, but no Bass and Yellows. I will do that challenge soon. We'll get to those boxes in a minute. Oh, magic. Yeah. Now, for starters, I'm very excited about the first lure and the hooks out of the bag because we've already proven that these work. Not on Bass and Yellows, but on Toga. On this trip, we chase, we're chasing a few species and we really wanted to get everyone on the team onto the fish. And we've done that. All three of us landed toga. I landed two toga on this very lure. So this is the airbag frog two inch from Fish Arrow. Fantastic looking little lure. And in the box also are the Dameki wide gape weedless hooks so they go together very well as we've discovered these things got absolutely smashed they have a really good buoyancy obviously they're meant to float they have a really good little action and they have arms and legs unless unless the toga rip the legs off them which does happen the thing we found with toga and i don't think this would be a problem with bass and yallas and other fish is that we just couldn't get them get the hook to stick so we made our own little I don't know if that's picking that up our own little stinger hook set up which I stole off a trout lure that I had and hung it off the bottom of the weedless so these things work wonderful I'll show you a picture right now so what you're looking at is a toga that absolutely annihilated this thing and one of them you'll see actually took the main hook so that was fine the second one which you're looking at now only got the stinger so without the stinger set up um, we wouldn't have got it but toga have a really bony mouth and we think that was the main problem there they're very hard to get to stick but this thing really got their attention so fantastic lure and the hooks are good too because they held the fish. So Mega Bass Pop X, great looking lure. Um, awesome color too. It is, that is, dude, yeah. Have some input, man. Have some input. <laughs> that is, a, um, that is. A, I'm just going to do all the talking. He's here for. Um, well, I don't know. He's not good to look at, so <laughs> I don't know why he's here. So that is a great looking popper and a good size, I think, for uh, for bass. I am not as big a bass fisher as this fella here, so he might have more to say on that sort of thing. Yeah, the Pop X, I've used these before. Um, I often sort of fish around the Brizzy River, Ipswich sort of area, or any of the rivers that flow from our dams here in southeast Queensland. Um, so you got like uh, Somerset, Wyvernhoe, uh, wouldn't bother with Crestbrook, but Somerset and Wyvernhoe are two big ones, obviously flowing into the Brisbane River, so um, all the bass in there are fed from these dams. Uh, there are, are wild ones as well, because they do populate themselves in these rivers. And something like this, the Mega Bass Pop X, can imitate pretty much anything. Like, yeah, obviously it's a fish profile, but um, the colours of it to me look something more like a grasshopper or a little bug. So it's just anything that's going to create a little bit of a disturbance on top. Great little lure, and I've already been using them before we got them in the box. Awesome. I can't wait to give that a run. Next up we have a sticker. 
you always get a sticker. Uh, that's the great thing about Tackle Club. That's not the great thing about them. There's lots of great things. But you cannot have too many stickers, especially if you have kids. What we have is, I think, it's, it's been a double up. Been a double up kind of uh, box with the fish arrow and the weedless hooks. We've got the Lunker City 2.75 inch Grub Star in Arkansas. Arkansas yeah, right. Yeah, that one. Yeah, exactly. They look shit sick. They look chic. <laughs> chic. Chic. They look sick. Sleek. Sick and sleek. <laughs> Take right. two. Yeah. Let's go again. These look sick. A straight out, I reckon that just looks like a bait fish. Like spot on imitation of a bait fish. And I think yellers will just smash them. Absolutely smash them. But bass as well. Uh, good wide profile. Uh, big presence in the water by the looks of it. I'm not, I've never thrown one so I can't tell you how they swim. But the paddle tail on them looks good. Not a huge tail through to the paddle which means it's not going to be super rigid, so it should have plenty of action. Oh, I think that looks fantastic, and I'm keen to give them a run. And coming in with the Lunka City plastics, uh, Lunka City jig heads, and I think they're going to work with these plastics. Just a hunch. So 1 8 ounce, 2 0 hook, perfect weight and size for sinking down in through the structure for bass and yellers. And yeah, that's the box, guys. Also looks like on the jig heads, there's actually a little spot if you want to glue on your own little eyes. There is. Yeah. There is an eye spot. So that's not like pink eye or white spot. It's just an eye spot for eyes. So if you want to put eyes in your jig head, you can. Then no, you don't have to. Oh, sweet. That's also an option. It's an option. Optional mm. eyes. Um, not like the ones in your head, they're not optional, you need them. So, we've got five items in here, and if you're a subscriber, this would have been $50, and you have got yourself $75.47 worth of amazingness. So, that is box number one, and I am stoked with that box. Righto, we're recording and wasting time. And we have to edit out that first minute and a half. Oh, I'm gonna sit like a man. Ooh. A man much younger than myself, apparently. Yeah. <laughs>